Crypto Activator here and welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to very quickly in a straightforward step-by-step -step way show you how you could use the Pulse Chain Bridge, bridge your assets from the Ethereum blockchain over to the Pulse Chain so that you could then start swapping for PLS tokens, PLSX tokens, or whatever token it is that you want to buy and hold on Pulse Chain. All right, so let's get started. All right, here we are on PulseChain.com, and I'm going to walk you through this step by step so that you know exactly what you need to do in order to bring assets over to Pulse Chain so that you could start transacting, start hodling your crypto on pulse chain all right so let's get started the first thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to have our metamask set up connected to pulse chain all right and now it's really simple to do i'm going to show you a couple different ways that you can do this uh, the first way is that way you understand what is actually happening and you know what's connected and what the information is that is inside your MetaMask for this to happen, okay? And that is right here, the network name, which is Pulse Chain, you're on the Pulse Chain network, okay? And then the RPC URL, that's this one right here, okay? And then you have your chain ID, and then of course the currency symbol, okay? And then there's a block explorer right here. So this information, you could actually go open up your MetaMask wallet, right? Now, here's my demo wallet. I've got nothing in here, no ETH or anything like that. But if you see this center or the, the this drop-down menu right up at the top of your MetaMask wallet, you click this, it will drop down different networks that you know I've already added on here as well. You can add another one by clicking this button right here, add a network, and it will show you where to input all this information, okay? Very simple to do. Now, that's just so that you understand what is actually going inside there. What you can do that is even more simple is to just go over here and you see they made it much simple for you to do. You just go and click this button that says add pulse chain to MetaMask. It brings up all the information. You click approve and then you click switch networks and you have added all this information to your MetaMask wallet. You are now connected to pulse chain. And that's it, you are now on that blockchain. You are now able to interact, transact, do all this sort of stuff on Pulse Chain, okay? So if I go over and I open up my MetaMask and I will just show you that, you'll see that it says PLS. This is, you know, now you're on this blockchain. But we're gonna wanna go to, from the Ethereum chain, Ethereum blockchain, and move our assets over to Pulse Chain, right? Because we have nothing on Pulse Chain yet here, okay? so. What we need to do is we need to go back to the Ethereum blockchain. We click this drop down on the networks and we choose what network we want to go back on to. And so we're just going to go back to Ethereum just like that. So that's how you switch back and forth to the blockchains. Okay. You understand? You got it? It's pretty cool, right? Pretty simple to do. Okay. So the next thing I just want to go over to Dex Screener and I will show you this on Dex Screener. Okay, Dex Screener, I just wanted to show you this is where you can go on Dex Screener forward slash Pulse Chain and you could see the whole list of all of the tokens now that are on Pulse Chain here with this and see all the current prices as they are, you know, moving and up and down and doing its thing. Some of them moving to parity, some of them not moving to parity, right? When you look at, for example, Hex, Hex is a great example. I told you this. If you're watching my videos before, I said, hey, Hex is probably going to be one of the first ones that's actually going to move to parity, okay? Because this is the community, guys. This is the Hexicans and the Pulsicans, and this is Richard Hart's community with Pulse Chain, right? So, of course, it's going to, and it's almost there. So, look at Hex uh, right here. We've got this Hex, which is 0 0.02315, and then if you come down here and you look at this one, it's 0 0.02327. Pretty close, isn't it, right? Almost at parity, just a, you know, a couple little points off, right? And that's it. So now let's head over to the bridge. Okay, so this is the bridge. This is pulseramp.com. Okay, very easy to remember, pulseramp.com. It will then forward you over to bridge.pulsechain.com 
forward slash bridge, okay? So here we are, this is the bridge. It's just like any other, uh, well, very similar to a DEX, to a decentralized exchange where you are going to swap one token for another token, right? If you're swapping Ethereum for Pulse Chain, stuff like that, right? Only difference is, well, this is actually a bridge. So you're going to bridge from one blockchain to another blockchain, okay? And that is right here. The top one is where you're going to bridge from, and the bottom is where you're going to bridge over to. So, for example, like I said, Ethereum to Pulse Chain. If you're already on on Pulse Chain, you have assets, and you want to move them back over to Ethereum. Well, you see this arrow arrow here. You just well, we got to have this connect. It wants you to connect to Pulse Chain, right? And I'll just show you that. So you're connected, and then you see it just moves it back and forth. Click this. Go back to Ethereum, and here we are, just like that. So we want to move some assets over to Pulse Chain, and I don't have anything in here. Well, you can select, click on here, and now select the token that you do want to bridge over. For example, let's pick Hex, right? Hex is a great one to move over. In fact, you know, not financial advice here. You do what you want to do, but I think Hex would be a fantastic token that if you want it instead of, I mean, you can do some die, send some die over if you want, but I think Hex would probably be your best bet, my own opinion that is, right, to bridge Hex over, okay? It's pretty stable and it's stable and pretty much on its way moving up. So it'd be a good thing to have to bridge that over, even if you're gonna sell it right away and or swap it right away and swap into other tokens such as PLS or, uh, PLSX stuff like that right it's a great one to move over because there you never know when it's going to be over there the bridge is still a little uh, backlogged clogged up it's being cleared out right now but it's still going to take some time for your transaction to go through okay so you'll have your hex here it will then appear on pulse chain as hex right to go from hex on ethereum to hex on pulse chain Okay, so you got it here, then you just enter your amount right here. So you've got like, uh, you know, 1000 hex, for example, and there's your bridge fee. You'll receive 997 hex, you know, three hex is what your fee is. So it's pretty cheap, not too bad. Send that over there, right? Boom, that's it, easy to do, right? Once you do that, let's head over to pulse or plsburn.com, okay? All right, here we are on plsburn.com. This is the webpage that shows you some statistics, some metrics of you know, what's going on here as far as tokens being burnt, as well as the transactions and that on the bridge. Okay, so look at this. You've got the price for PLS, you've got the price for PLSX, you've got the incentive token, you've got HEX. Here's a little bit of the prices down here. Now we can take a look at the bridge. Earlier, not too long ago actually, this showed as 40%. Even though people keep getting on and using and using the bridge, putting more and more transactions on, right? It is starting to unclog as you can see this. It was at 40% earlier, now it's at 43.6% with more people still coming on, sending more transactions, okay? So that's good, it's getting faster, it's picking up, okay? So we've still got it once if you were to come on here and send a transaction to be bridged over, don't expect it right away because <laughs> all of these people are ahead of you just so that you're aware, just so that you understand that it could take, I don't know when it's going to be, maybe it's till tomorrow, right? Maybe it takes that long for the transaction to go through, but well, that's just how it is. This is busy right now. Look, you've got for hex, you got 815 million, uh, you know, going through right now and there's 386 million that's actually processed right these are the deposit this is what's actually been processed and sent through okay just so that you're aware and you can see that now we've got a little bit on the validators down here and then here's the gas this fluctuates right this to send one prc20 to another prc20 kind of like one ethereum token to another ethereum token which is erc20s right and then so P just one PRC 20 to another PRC 20 is 26 cents. Sending PLS is very cheap, it's four cents. And then we've got 60 cents to use the 
DEX, the P, the uh, Pulse X DEX. Okay, some people are like, man, that's huge. Look at the prices of gas. Why is it so high? Right? Yeah, it is a little bit higher than you know people were anticipating and would would like. You know, of course, we would like it much cheaper. And during on test net, it was like just like a fractions of pennies. Right? It was very very cheap, but. It is what it is. It's still a lot cheaper than Ethereum. Come on, guys. It's just about Binance Smart Chain costs right now. But check this out. What does it really mean, okay, these gas prices? It means that this chain has such a high demand, okay? There's a lot of usage. There's a lot of transactions. You gotta understand how Ethereum works, right? This is a fork of Ethereum, right? So when there's more people more transactions more congestion well things get a little bit more but it's still cheap come on guys right that's still very reasonable to use okay so that's how that is now let's head over once you know so once you've sent your bridge you sent your transactions to the bridge you can come check this out you'll see you know oh well this is what i'm looking at for for this information right what's next is it's going to end up on Pulse Chain, and then you can go over to Pulse X, go over to the DEX. Okay, so we'll head over there right now. Okay, this is Pulse X, this is the DEX, right? This is just like Uniswap on Ethereum. Okay, now you can come over here and you will, well, you're gonna want to connect now your wallet, of course, on the Pulse Chain side, right? Now we're switching over here because we've got everything happening on Pulse Chain, right? So here we are connected, we are on Pulse Chain the blockchain and we are using Pulse X, the DEX on Pulse Chain. You'll see, you can click right here, All you have all these tokens and you will see the number, okay, of say you sent over hex, right? So we'll go over here, we'll click on hex from Ethereum, right? We'll do this and then you'll, it will show you the number and the amount of hex that you have right here. Then if you want right away, you could swap it for PLSX or you can swap it for PLS, stuff like that, right? But wait a minute, you're gonna to need to have some gas fees. You need PLS for gas, right? I know you're just thinking that. You're saying, hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What about, I don't have any, how am I gonna transact without any gas? Yeah, I know, that's the deal, right? Well, if you can find someone that you can buy some from and they can send it over to you, good job, right? Or someone wants to donate some to you. Who knows, right? Whatever the case is, in the meantime, there is now a faucet for you to use. So let's head over there right now. Okay, this is pls-faucet.com. Pretty cool. You can go over here and check out their Twitter, check out Telegram, there's some information here. But what this is, it's, it's, free, it's free PLS tokens, okay? Like free, free Pulse tokens. Just come over here and what you gotta do is, I'll show you this, I don't know if, it's just not working very well right now. Click copy it. The thing is because look at they are sending it, people are using this every second and so they kind of stop it and stop and go stop and go with this faucet because it gets jammed up too. There's so much demand for this because everybody wants some free PLS tokens to use for gas. But you're gonna get they're gonna give you twenty five hundred for your wallet address. So you just paste your wallet in here, right? Click this and we'll see if this goes. You click claim max claim limit has been reached okay so then you gotta you have to keep on trying right come back here every so often and keep on trying trying and trying and trying until they release more okay because you got so many people that are trying to claim this pls tokens that's why it's like this okay okay well there you have it that's it it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward that's step by step how you can be bridging your assets from the ethereum blockchain over to the pulse blockchain now if you have any other questions comments concerns i do have a community i do have a small telegram group chat the link is in the description check it out go down there join the group okay and other than that hey if you did find this helpful you did find some value in this content you know what you to do you know i'd really appreciate it if you did smash that like button, drop me a comment down below. It really helped with the YouTube algorithm as well, help grow this small channel. And hey, if you are enjoying the content that I am putting out here and you haven't subscribed, 
Why not? You know what to do. Click subscribe, click the bell so you're notified when new videos are released. And in the meantime, I should have another video right about here that I believe YouTube's even recommending for you. So head on over there. I'll see you over there and you have a great day. Bye for now.